Yo, this is In The Streets, brand new YouTube channel. I'm your man, UG. Right, thank you, 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 thank you. All right, now, today we want to talk about Pop Smoke. The LA detectives, they caught uh, four dudes that's involved in this murder. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, Jay-Z and Beyonce, they the one is home, caught on fire. Um, Cole and Ray, this upcoming artist. We're going to talk about her performance on Rolling Loud. Nicki Minaj and her husband is back in some legal problems. Um, T.I. speaking about some this woman that allegedly saying he did some things. And Sweetie throwing shots back at Quavo. All this. We're going to talk about all this. So we'll be right back. Yeah, so first of all, that my man Pop Smoke. Rest in peace. Another young soldier took away too soon. This dude got good music. His music, his music is lit. You know what I mean? I like the I like the fact that this dude's making his way up. You know what I mean? Um, the LA detective they said they caught uh, four men that's involved with a shooting. Yeah, yeah, that 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 thing. So they said they caught four men that's involved with a shooting. That um, Corey Walker nineteen. Ke Keandre Rogers, 18, and two other people that's, their name is undisclosed. One is 17, one is 15. All four of them is at lockup. As it's, as we speak, um, prosecutors are thinking about seeking the death penalty, but it's not on the table yet. Um, according to the LA detectives, it's like, uh, these dudes went to his house to burglarize it. And I guess they said Pop Smoke was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, and, you know, I guess, they want to kill him while they was trying to rob the police. Um, this is just my opinion. I don't think it's no murder. I think these dudes know exactly what they was doing when they went there. Yes, they probably went there with the intention to rob them, time up, beat them up, whatever the case might be. But they definitely went there knowing that this dude was starting to make some paper, and they they, they this just this just a hate on the all all time level. You know what I mean? This is just hate on the all time level. He, he hate to see young black people come up. It's like crap in a barrel story. You know what I mean? And also as entertainers, y'all gotta realize that yo, y'all making money now. I know y'all got an image to uphold, this gangster image, but man, let's take Park and Big, for example, man. It doesn't work. You know what I mean? I was in the streets for years. I'm telling y'all, there's only two places. When you're in the streets, only two places. In jail, in prison or dead. You know what I mean? My condolences to pop some family and friends. But you know, we just gotta keep it gully, we gotta keep it real what's really going on in these streets. Look at all these little young rappers. Bobby Shimurda, he was locked in, he just came home not too long ago. Um NBA Young Boy, you know what I mean? Easy Easy Yella. All these all these people, you know what I mean? So it's like, yo, we gotta take notice of what's going on, man. Y'all can't make money and mix the money up with the streetness. It don't work. You know what I mean? Y'all just gotta keep it moving. Y'all gotta keep it gutty. Y'all know, like, yo, it's about money. It's about money. If y'all gonna, gonna be on some street shit, it's about street shit. These dudes that decided he was gonna burglarize or take this man's life away so short, man, I ain't got no love for y'all. I'm being honest. I ain't got no love for y'all. Cause ain't no, ain't no need for all that. You know what I mean? Ain't no need for all that. You know what I mean? On the broader side to it, Travis Scott launched the Euro fashion line. You know what I mean? In the name of uh, Pop Smoke. So we're going to keep up to that and see what's really going on. That plus this story, according to these four individuals that, you know, was being charged for murder. You know what I mean? So in the upcoming video, we're going to have more on that. You know what I mean? And other news, Jay-Z and Beyonce, the wall is home. That caught on fire. It's like somebody said it's a suspicious person on the property. You know what I mean? And then maybe a couple minutes later, the call went out to the fire department. When they came, the house was blazing. And I'm not talking about no simple blaze. It was a big, big, big blaze. It took 22 firefighters to put this blaze out. So this wasn't a little small blaze. This was something that was blazing. The good part about it is neither Jane or Beyonce was there at the resident. So nobody got injured at the resident and stuff like that. The fire department is holding the arson. So we don't know if somebody said this intentionally to harm Jay or Beyonce. We're going to look into that. You know what I mean? Because you know when you're in Islam, like, you know, you get a lot of people that hate you know what i mean so we're gonna keep you up to date on that story also in upcoming news events on this channel you gotta continue to you know like subscribe and hit that notification bell you know so y'all can get the latest song.
on all the videos every day, every day. All right, so next up, we got our girl Chloe Loray. I hope I'm saying your name right, baby. Let's just call you CL. Um, this girl, she got fire. She got fire. She got good lyrics. She got good performance to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, she performed at Rolling Loud. At first, people wasn't vibing with her. I guess because she's new, probably a lot of people never heard of her before, whatever the case might be. But I'm telling you, I listen to I listen to a lot of this girl's songs. She got some smoke. You know what I mean? And she's she she's a contender to be reckoned with in the, in, in the year or so. She's she's gonna be on fire. You know what I mean? So much love. CL, do your thing, baby girl. Just keep striving, keep moving forward. You know what I mean? It only gets better with time. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so next up on deck, we got Nicki Minaj and her husband. This is a sticky, sticky story. Um, according to sources, Nicki Minaj's husband was arrested back in the day on a sexual assault charge. Um, they moved from New York to L.A where he didn't register as a sex offender. So he got arrested. He did a plea deal. You know what I mean? He took a plea deal out of that. Um, people are saying that Nicki Minaj took his name off her Twitter. Like she's trying to distance herself. I don't know if it's that or it's maybe she got an upcoming album coming out and she's just trying to promote her upcoming album without the publicity of her husband behind it. We don't know the full angle on that. We're going to get more details about that in the future episodes. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, the thing get deeper though, it's allegedly said that Nicki Minaj had someone try to pay off this girl $20,000, you know what I mean? To recant her story. Well, what happened is now the girl is countersawing for 200000 Like, you know, and she's not going to recant her story and she don't like the way that Nicki Minaj, you know what I mean, went about things. Like I said, allegedly, I'm not sure we're going to have more. We're going to have more updates on this in future videos to find out what's really going on. Yeah, but um, on the other side, uh, this dude, Little Nas X, he made some reference to her on her song about maybe liking her style or whatever the case might be. But Nicki Minaj fans, you know, the barbs, they took it to another level. It was like, yo, baby girl, you better not do no collab with this dude. You know what I mean? So we don't know what's going on with that yet. We're going to figure out that in more and more, in the more recent stories where we got coming up. But yeah, we're going to keep a lookout on this, on this story right here and find out what's going on with Nicki Minaj and her husband, you know, and see what's going on. My man T.I., much love, man. He's been a fan for years. Um, well, it said that this woman, Sabrina Peterson, says that um, allegedly T.I. pulled a gun, pulled it to her head, said, yo, I'm going to kill you, da da da. T.I. and his lawyer saying, yo, she's lying, because it's all she do is straight up lie. You know what I mean? She lies all the time. She got rap sheet, you know, so. We don't know the full hundred on that yet. But all we know is that she's accusing him of that. Um, even tiny, tiny two shots at her on, uh, tw uh, on Twitter in a post that she made saying, you used to babysit for us. You used to babysit for us this whole time. All of a sudden, now you want to bring this in, into the game. You know what I mean? So we're going to get some more on that story also in a future video. So like I said, yeah, let's keep a look out. Just like, subscribe, hit that notification button. We're going to get some more on that in a minute. You know what I mean? But another story. This girl, sweetie, you know what I mean? I guess her and Quavo had a relationship going on, you know what I mean? He got her uh, a Bentley or whatever, and somehow the Bentley got repossessed or something like that, or Quavo took the Bentley back or some crap like that. We're not 100% sure on that yet, neither, you know what I mean? Um, but what happened was homegirl tweeted with a Rolls Royce about it, like, yeah, you know, Bentley might be God, but Got me a Rolls Royce and Shorty was popping it with the champagne and all that in front of the Bentley on the Twitter post. So we gonna see what's good with that also. You know what I mean? Cause this is a little story to watch, but I want to say something. When you in the limelight and you give a girl, you you know you a female messing around, and you give her some gifts, and whatever. It makes no sense to go back and take it back. No matter how expensive, the, you should know that you're buying expensive gifts, you're giving this girl expensive gifts, and the relationship might not last. That's the industry, though. You know what I mean? And for you to want to take these gifts back when the relationship is over, I don't know, maybe it's me, but it makes you look stupid. You know what I mean? Especially when Shorty stepped up her thing, and when the guys got a double R, got a Rolls Royce, you know what I mean? So, and it throw bad, it throw bad negativity on you, you think, man. You know what I mean? She gave you a personal part of her that 
she can't take back. Just keep that in mind. You know what I mean? If she want that back, she got to come give you some more of that before she can get that back, right? So I'm just saying, y'all just got to keep some of the personal business out of the news. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to talk more on that maybe in a future video if it's really worth, you know what I mean, going into all that. You know what I mean? So like I said, I'm UG. This is Industries. This is a brand new one. It's a brand new YouTube channel. We're going to try to give you all the latest infos, all the stories that we could find. You know, we're not trying to make the videos too long. We're trying to keep it short and interesting so you have to know vibe to it. But like I said, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification so that we are up to date on all the new videos. I'll be dropping a video every day. Starting today, every day y'all going to get a new video. So, yo, this y'all boy UJ. Keep it gully. 100.